Thank you very much. Um, I'm John Carances, as we just stated, the, uh, the CEO of I Sign This Limited, and with me today is Mark Bongers. We've got a lot of moving parts today. We've actually got uh, the global financial net, uh, payment network, the telco network, the internet, as well as our own back-end systems that we're going to demonstrate. We're going to show you how we're going to lock KYC identity from a payment instrument, such as a credit card, a debit card, e-mandate, or direct debit. In a bit of a role reversal, a Greek, me, is going to give a Dutchman his credit card to spend some money. And we're actually going to go through with a hypothetical AML regulated merchant in the EU. And we're going to use this uh, merchant to onboard a customer to a new service. So what our service is, is a dynamic, automated, uh, KYC electronic verification service that collects, screens, validates, and verifies identity. The way we do that is, as Mark will demonstrate now, he's going to place a bet. He's actually going to enter in his credit card details or debit card or perhaps direct debit. And this is scheme independent, so it doesn't matter which scheme or issuer we're looking at, but the process will work. What we're now going to do is transform the payment message into a means of creating dynamic knowledge-based authentication. I'm going to transform that message in such a way that it creates a secret, and we're going to push that secret in real time into the customer's account. We're then going to ask the customer to retrieve that secret, thus verifying their identity and the fact that they own that account. And of course, because we're dealing with regulated financial instruments, KYC is already built into those accounts. So we whitelist and blacklist and make sure that only valid payment instruments are used as input sources. So now that Mark has actually entered his payment details, he's making a $50 transaction, which is going to be sent to his payment gateway. This is live. The payment gateway is, is, uh, is looking at that payment data and sending it to our sign this. Mark is actually given instructions in terms of how to actually authenticate and verify himself. So as you can see, the way we create a secret is to take that $50 transaction and to split into two amounts. The first amount is a random amount. The second amount is a balancing amount. We push those as real-time payments, forming a secret. And now Mark will go to his bank account and retrieve that secret in real time, hopefully, um, and bring that secret back to our sign this, thus verifying that he owns that account. Now, I can see that the first split is 46.57 and the second is 3.43. As you can see previously, we've done some, some trial, uh, trial uh, transactions which resulted in different splits. Mark is now going to bring those two splits back, enter them into the transaction verification system, confirming that he owns the account. As soon as he does that, he's going to move to the next stage. We're going to ask him to give us his mobile phone information to verify that he owns a mobile phone. The reason we do that is we use that as a central account for all of his payment instruments. Um, at this stage, we are actually going to collect KYC data from Mark. If his data has already been collected by the merchant, that can be passed to us by API. Any data that is omitted to meet local AML regulation, we will ask the customer to complete, and we validate this data. We also screen this data against PEP and sanctions lists, and we also collect a lot of device and network data along the way. So Mark is going to progress from this screen and also now give us his mobile phone so we can verify and link his mobile phone to his payment instrument. And we start to create an evidence of identity file for Mark, which comprises payment instrument, one or more of them, his mobile phone, and um, as, well as, as well as device and network data. Now what's just come through is a one-time password via SMS which I'm going to read out to Mark, is 47585872. Now this confirms that Mark is holding or owns the mobile phone, which in some jurisdictions is also an AML regulated device. Moving on to the next step, we now ask Mark to choose a personal code, which is four characters or more. And the reason we do this is to start to establish two factors, two independent factors. Why this is important is because from August this year, the European Banking Authority is requiring all online transactions from credit cards or e-wallets or credit transfers to be authenticated via two-factor authentication. As part of those new regulations, they're requiring 
a KYC of the customer, and they're also requiring verification of the payment source. So what I assign this is doing is it's lowering friction of onboarding a customer, and it's creating an online dynamic KYC that is cross-jurisdictional, cross-border, that has a, a reach of around 200 countries and circa somewhere around 3 billion persons, coinciding with a number of credit cards on issue and internet accessibility. And it also provides the basis for a liability shift within the SEPA zone from August this year. So by combining payments and onboarding, we're reducing friction and we're creating a system that also reduces fraud and, and has other benefits. So in terms of moving forward, Mark has now onboarded himself, the process is complete, and we've actually KYC'd, identified, verified, screened a customer live, live, you know, um, with a real credit card in under, in under five minutes. So when you consider the onboarding process of your document-based onboarding or localised electronic verification using static databases or other techniques, this is truly a global solution that allows you to passport your customers between financial institutions or use the KYC that's inbuilt from the financial institution in their payment instruments for secondary services such as online gaming or stockbroking or loans or insurance and so on. So that's, that's effectively the system and, uh, and what it does. And um, thank you very much. We're, we're done with about 20 seconds to spare. Thank you.